We're short. We're short? We are short. By how much? That's the kicker. We're short by one student. One student. One stupid student. <laughs> really? Does the dean think one student is really going to make a difference? You know how ego he is about the budget. He's convinced if we can get one more kid to enroll this year, all our financial problems will be solved. Well, all the interviews we had scheduled were last week. When do you think about our recommendation by? Today. <laughs> Today. Or we're fired. <laughs> or we're fired. What sense does that make? I think he still blames us for accepting the pyromaniac that burnt down the science center. <laughs> he had an amazing essay. How are we to know? <laughs> well, what are we going to do? We finished our interviews last week. Start looking through the waitlisted files. If any one of them can see us today, let's give them a shot. The waitlist? Oh, gosh. Hey, our backs are against the wall here. And if we can't find a diamond in the rough, we are out of here. All right, I'll start making calls. Good luck. Okay, keep your chin up. The waitlisted kids aren't as bad as you think. <laughs>
documentary. Really? Yeah, my brother knows this guy, and he's doing this thing on high schoolers, like a great real estate stock. It's all over the country, and uh, you know, I guess I thought it was interesting. So they followed you around everywhere? Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I can't express that enough. 
we're going to have a great con. Trust me. Okay, G. I got to wrap this up. I'm psyched. I'm hungry. I'm punk. We're going to blow this out of the water and blow people's minds. Mignani. Again, appreciate your patience and your generosity. You're an ace in the hole. But, one of the too. Ah, it's my bro here, Marty Mar. I just got to put your money where your mouth is, Marty Mar. Ha, he's such a jerk. Love him, but wouldn't trust him with a pencil. You know what I mean? You're Brett. You're 30 minutes late. I know, I know. I was in a busy conference call, a nightmare lunch meeting, and this girl I'm dating, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Well, it's inconvenient for me. I have another prospective student. I know, I know. I got a meet and greet and a fiver. So if we can, let's just do those movies and shall we? <laughs> All right. I suppose we should start with, um, You know what? We're going to skip the whole, if you ask the questions hard, so I'm going to take a break too. So here's me. I'm a self-motivator, I'm extremely competitive, and I'm the life of the party. I love your school's aggressive economics program. It's time for my business. I love your school's great social scene. I'm getting my pledge. Alpha Phi Beta, Delta Chi Delta, candy on his pledge class. My stats are well above your school's averages. So if you're in a boat, I'm driving shit. We good? <laughs> no, not at all. Crazy, baby. baby. What up, Buttercup? Yeah, I just have to do the same face to face in here real quick. Kenny, it's the rest of you talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> handsome salt and pepper here weatherman. <sighs> so I went to the pool early and started my morning stretching. And that's when I saw it. A uh, little boy with fiery red hair and freckles all over his face, teetering on the edge of the pool. But before I could even think to warn him, he fell into the watery abyss. His body crashed so violently, his eyes get closed to the sting of the chlorine. His voice silenced to the water he was swallowing. I tried to swim after him, but I was too late. He was <clears throat> back with Stephanie. I never sat for the pool since. That was very great of you to share that with, with me. What do you think? Death like that, especially that was such a young child. He didn't die. He didn't? <laughs> no, the life got through the mouth. Well, even seeing a near death experience. He was only in the water for a couple of seconds. I broke the mouth. He was? Yes. I thought you said it was too late. It was too late for me! I didn't say it because I was too late! <laughs> so you saw a child fall into a pool and he was rescued by a lifeguard and that... You know what, let's just move on. Um, so uh, what interests you about this school? Why do you want to come here? There are many reasons, I suppose, but only one really mattered. It was a crisp day in March. <laughs> Me and my best friend Amanda was leading Miss Leonard's extensively boring geometry class. She started talking about if I wanted to be in college. And I said, yeah, maybe. Then she started talking about this college, how her sister was going here, how I should just check it out. And I said, yeah, maybe. I was flipping. This regarding my best friend's advice with two little inarticulate words. And those words were the last I ever said to her. 
I am so sorry. Losing a best friend like that, I can't imagine how awful that must have been for you. It really was! How old was Amanda when she passed? Passed. Uh, died. She didn't die. <laughs> she didn't. No, she's going to deal with the fall. She's really smart. I thought you said those were the last words you said to her. It was! We had a falling out after that. A uh, falling out with like a big fight? We went our own separate ways. It was neutral. So let me get things straight. You saw a kid fall into a pool who was almost immediately picked up by a lifeguard and you lost touch with a friend. These are the events that have shaped your life and caused you so much emotional you distress. You weren't there! You were not as to be there and experience it! Okay, well, uh, thank you for coming in. I have a meeting in a few minutes, so, uh... Of course. Thank you. And, uh, I know it's not my place, but you might want to consider some kind of, uh, therapy. <laughs> therapy? Yes. I went to a therapist once. It was a cool autumn day. <laughs> I've been feeling optimistic.
I saw it on the TV and it got me thinking. In a motivated kind of way. Oh yeah. What was it? There was, I was watching the news and there was this woman and she suffered from some weird stroke and went into a coma. Doctors tried everything. I mean, I spent years trying to revive her, but never figured it out. So, this may have inspired you to go into medicine or healthcare? No, it just made me jealous. <laughs> she was like having these tubes feed her and they didn't breathe for her and they put on the TV all day and, you know, like, sometimes breathing is just like, so... <laughs> <laughs> So this inspired you to be in a coma? <laughs> Tell the NBUA and 
while you're at it, say hello to Dracula, <laughs> and what's that? And all those whiny Twilight kids. <laughs> sure. Because we're all just the same as you. Honestly, I expected more at this university. Practicing that all week. 
Look, I'm very glad you have hobbies outside of school, but maybe we could get back oh, to- Oh, sure, sure, sure. Once you check the car, that's some here, see? Rules on how to play Texas Hold'em? And who makes rules but King? Hey, that's actually my car. Really? No. <laughs> okay, choose a number between one and five thousand. No, wait. Choose your favorite color, then choose your number. <laughs> Not one. Not a single one. This is bad. This is extremely bad. You must have been too critical. I'm sure you saw these. What can you recommend? Well, if you want to look through my files, be my guest. Well, if you're going to look through my files, I'm going to look through yours. What does practicing vampire mean? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What about Ben? His SAT scores are different. No! But his SAT scores... No, just, just trust me. Oh my gosh, right. I am so sorry. I got a little oh, I got a little no sorry. problem. Should I wait? No, no, it's fine. Come in. Um, have a seat. So, uh Uh Oh wow, that was the of your class. They decided that already? Yeah, normally they wait until the end of the school year, but I guess my GPA was too high for anyone to catch up to. There are a lot of really bright students at the school, so I was just as surprised to find out this early. I'm also fairly impressed with the variety of after-school programs you've amassed. First chair cellist, president of the student council, member of the thespians, and the founder of something called the Relief Club. Yeah, it was a club formed by me and three friends of public outreach. Uh, we do shelter meals, food drives, build houses. There wasn't really anything like that in our school. Well, I believe we should tell you that I'm so sorry. I never leave my phone on normally. It's just... It's my mom. I told her not to call me answer. It was really, really urgent. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll be quick. Hello? Yeah, everything's going fine. Any news? Oh my gosh!